Well, I made a few changes. So I, for the spine, these books that I use don't have really, um, yeah, a big spine or a large spine. So I thought, well, I want to use this fabric. So I stuck the fabric down and I gessoed it. So this is still really wet and I will uh, try, if I sand it, to see a little bit of that leaf, but I don't know. This fabric seems to me, uh, yeah, was a little bit more, uh, had a little bit more body to it, even if it's see-through, but yeah, I, I really wanted to try this. So my homemade gesso, <laughs> uh, the other book, this I will put aside to dry for a minute. And my homemade gesso uh, turned a little bit, uh, yeah, now my board book is starting to bow a little bit because I already put uh, it on the cover. And as you can see, not only that it's bowing now, and my spine is pulling away, but that will all uh, uh, be okay when this is um, going to dry. So this is more a little bit more uh, brown, right? So, but I'm okay with that because my theme is geisha, and um, yeah, this is only the gesso, but uh, and only the really the first layer that you will see, and a little bit. When I will um, sand this, <laughs> it looks like a bird now. <laughs> I, I think it's so funny <laughs> the way it looks now. It looks really like a bird. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with this, this for a minute. Oh, I'm a bird. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but well. <laughs> So this really dries. I just put it on and it's already drying, but this is a little bit, yeah, with that heavy, uh, a little bit more heavy fabric. This I did do the other way around. So this is like this onto the board. So only for the spine I use this. I also could use the leaves for the inside of, or for a pocket, perhaps, if I'm doing that. I don't know if that I'm doing that, but well. So now I will um, do every page. I also <laughs> put a little bit onto my thingy here, but I will do every page now. So um, yeah, <clears throat> I will uh, put it on fast forward like I always do. And um, I will uh, let you, see it when I'm done. So I'm not putting too much onto the middle, onto the gusset of this because I, uh, yeah, I think that will be difficult for the, for the sewing. But I, now I wrote everything down. So I didn't know the, because this is my first time, I don't know uh, what you have to do first and not that I want everything to be perfect but I for the first time I want to know uh, what comes first just to be sure so I um, I did do my best to write that down so I sat down with the video <laughs> and then I wrote everything down that I thought was uh, important so Coffee break. <laughs> I 
think this will be more gray than black, but I'm okay with that, so. If I wanted to be black, 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 I would have made the ratio a little bit different than what I did, so I thought if it's, I thought it was even more uh, lighter, <laughs> if I'm honest. And what I put in it was Ecolina black, Ecolina and just a black acrylic um, paint. This is what I put in it. And also I put in Ecolina. And together with the white uh, that was already in it, just so, the primer. So it was about this. Then a little bit of Ecolina and then a little bit of uh, black ink and I just uh, uh, put the, the lid on really tight and then shaked it so to, to make that um, come to go together. <laughs> the words don't come easy today. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will leave it to dry and then uh, I will uh, do the, uh, let me see what I want to say, the sanding and this I can work on some more when uh, there's more layers come onto it, so come, are coming onto the book I mean. So if you are also using uh, fabric layers, I would recommend not to load it up with, um, with the gesso because then it will come off the book again. So that isn't a good idea. I think one of my neighbors, his son, is going uh, to live uh, across the street <laughs> from me. <laughs> I recognize my neighbor <laughs> from... Uh, He's already living in my street and he's looking in the, the empty house across my street. And they, they are looking at me, <laughs> seeing this book and I see on their faces is, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> That's so funny. Whom is she talking to? <laughs> Perhaps they think I talk to myself as well. You never know what people think, right? <laughs> I don't mind. Only I, I'm putting only some gesso on the white of, from the fabric, the white of the flowers, so that uh, uh, that I will uh, scuff up, as Laurie is calling it. So I like that word. Uh, sand. I always forget how that's called, sanding. So. Okay, so now I have two books. This one I will leave to dry and uh, the other one I can't uh, pick up because my hands are black and I don't want to get it all onto my white book. So <laughs> I have just so even here, so that's uh, nice. So uh, I will see you at the next step and that will be sanding and putting on the papers that we are going to make together. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> see you then. So I'm downstairs now but I wanted to show you this uh, tape. It's a little bit shiny but it has fibers in it. And I thought, does this re resemble a uh, gopher tape or, or doesn't it? So uh, I wanted to ask you if this uh, resembles gopher tape in any sorts of way. I can't get it uh, off it. I have all uh, little cuts and bruises on my hands from, um, yeah, that's a long story. <laughs> But uh, so I can't get it uh, off. But uh, when I did, 
uh, I saw all sort of fibers inside and it's but this is more shiny I think but well I just wanted to show you because I told uh, some people in Facebook and uh, if in Lori Marie's uh, Facebook gro group uh, about this uh, tape that I saw in my drawer so <laughs> so this is it okay <laughs> bye Doodle.